What? Gareth, what are you doing? I'm just pushing the stuff off my desk. I can't concentrate. Not on your desk? It was. It's all overlapping. It's all coming over the edge here. All right? One word, two syllables. Demarcation, all right? David Brent, I presume. Let's just do that to cheer these lot up. All right. We send them out to get the plants. The girls can make them a little bit happier. Because uh, they can sometimes get a little bit. Oh, it's run out of batteries. Do you want to get some batteries for Billy Big Mouth? So when I take out our petty cash. Right. Can't put a price on comedy. Uh, You're a twat, Gareth. You're a twat and a nub end. I'm still not listening, so it's not offending me. So. Right, okay, so you won't hear this. You're a cock, you're a cock, you're a cock. You're a cock. Yeah, look. This is the sort of work we're doing. <laughs> Cartoons. Does my bum look big in these? It's not sexist, that's the bloke saying it. At last. So, all for that. All for that in the workplace. Well, there's to scrape it first, I mean. You've met Tim, haven't you? Oh, 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 careful. Watch this one. Gareth Keenan in the area. You're a new town. Introduce yourself. Good to see you. Um, Gareth Keenan, assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. Gareth's my right hand man, immediately beneath me. Oh, there's an actress said to a bishop. <laughs> no, he's not. I'm not. Do you know about your car and your kung fu and everything? Uh, yeah, I got a TR3. Uh, bought it for 1200 Uh Done it up, now it's worth three grand. Profit on that. Uh, new suspension, new engine. Just a wreck. Respray. I've got some fuel himself. Oh, what is that? Uh, whoa, 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 Dave, whoa. right, that is it. Slow down, you move too fast. Solomon's here. All part of the job. What's going on? Put my stapler inside the jelly again. That's the third time he's done it. It wasn't even funny the first time. Why has he done that? Just told him once that I don't like jelly. Don't trust the way it moves. Yeah, you showed him a weakness. He pounced. You should know about that. Oh, what is in there? It's my stapler. Well, don't do that. Well, eat it out. There's people starving in the world, which I hate. So, and it's a waste. So, how do you know it's yours? Because it's got my name on it in Tipex. Yeah, don't eat it now. In chemicals. Right, you can be my witness. Give him an official warning. How do you know it was me? It's always <laughs> you. Can't you. Can't you discipline him? Oh, kinky! <laughs> no, the thing about practical jokes is you've got to know when to stop as well as start, and now's the time to stop putting Gareth's personal possessions in jelly, all right? Gareth, it's only a trifling matter. <laughs> Here we go. We're always like this. You oh, should God. put him in custody. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna fit in here. We're like Vic and Bob, aren't we? And, then, and one extra one. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm more worried, really, about damage to company property, that's all. Trifling. I'm just trying to think of other desserts mm -hmm. to do. Dreaded first day. Yeah. All right? <laughs> yeah, no, all right, yeah. You've seen the vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chilled out. You know. Oh, dear. We work hard. I mean, we play hard. Play hard, we should be working hard sometimes. Partly down to me, sure. Um, I let them get away with murder, in return they let me get away with murder. You know, the girls love me, but uh, not in that way. So, but, uh, you know, I suppose I've created an atmosphere where I'm a friend first and a boss second. Probably an entertainer third, but... Uh, hold on! Practical jokes. Yeah? Right. Right. OK. Practical jokes. Oh, let's do it. Don't give me away. Here you are. Come in. <coughs> ah, and then the head office. Uh, yeah, so that'll be... Thanks, do Thanks. Don't, don't go, uh, dog. Can you put up a chair? I was going to call you in anyway. I need a quick word. Um, as you are aware, there are going to be redundancies and you've made my life easier in as much as I'm gonna have to let you go first. What? Why? Why? Stealing. Thieving. Thieving? Yeah. Um, uh, what am I meant to have stolen? Post-it notes. Post-it notes? What are they worth about 12p? Oh, got your Bible on you, Ricky? No. Thou shalt not steal, and this is only worth 12p. You steal a thousand post-it notes at 12p, and you've made 
profit. Why would I on steal that. post it notes? You know, to make the little what, things on the end of joints. Roaches. Roaches. Caught you, drug addict. No, I'm just. Are you serious? Yeah. I can't. God. I've never stolen as much as a paper clip and you're firing me. And the good news is, I don't need to give you any severance pay because it's gross misconduct. So you can go straight away. Good girl. That's a joke we're doing. Well done, settling in. Practical jokes for the good. Thanks for these. Check them out. Better do these now, actually. You wanker. Come on. You're such a sad little man. Am I? Knew that. What is the single most important thing for a company? Is it the building? Is it the stock? Is it the turnover? It's the people. Investment in people. Yeah? My proudest moment here wasn't when I increased profit by 17% or cut expenditure without losing a single member of staff. No. It was a young Greek guy. First job in the country, hardly spoke a word of English, but he came to me and he went, Mr. Brent, will you be the godfather to my child? So. Didn't happen in the end, we had to let him go, he was rubbish. He was rubbish. That is. You won't need to use that. You've met this lot. Um, it's Gareth, that you saw in the meeting. Formal introductions. Um, Hi, I'm Gareth. Welcome. Just a handshake, that's fine. And Ricky. Hi. Nice to meet you. Even longer. Even Tim. Hello. Good. OK. Um, settle her in, get her started, show her the phones and everything. But first, me think the lady does need a chair. <laughs> sit down, Roger. Maybe she should sit down here, then uh, I could okay. teach her the ropes. See, that's okay. my responsibility as the team there. leader. David, I'm just saying, maybe... When uh, people say, oh, would you rather be thought of as a funny man or a great boss, my answer's always the same. To me, they're not mutually exclusive. There's, there's a weight of intellect behind my comedy. Yeah? If you were to ask me to name three geniuses, I probably wouldn't say um, Einstein, Newton, you know. I'd go Milligan, Cleese, Everett, Sessions. <laughs> Gareth, have you got a licence to carry that? Mm. Portable phone. All right. Can you swap places with Donna, please? No, I'm not moving. Do as you're told. Why, what are you going to do? Phone me. I'm team leader. I don't care. You're so immature. Oh, Gareth, if there's one thing that I am not, it is immature. Yeah, immature a little tosser. Gareth Keenan. Cock. Uh, so, David, um, I was just saying to Tim. Okay, do it. <laughs> Gun holster. Uh, just my portable telephone. I was just saying to Tim, maybe it would oh, be good to I just thought, sorry, I just thought to it. And I was just thinking, did I make five or six cars? The question is, do you feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? Clint Eastwood. Spot on. Let's let him get on with it. OK. We're all uh, online here, hooked up to the World Wide Web, internet, no shopping. Oh. All right. <laughs> um, everyone's got uh, email. Have you used email before? Yeah. Yeah, it's easy, isn't it? Um, 
I'll we'll just, we'll just show on you. Yeah. Oh, you got a new one. Oh, you do there. See what it says, new mail. Just go that, just click on that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no. That's. Yeah. It's not funny because Donna should not have to see me as a woman with two men doing that all over me. You've got nice boobs. No, it's just not. It's just my head. They just put it on there to. Who else has seen this filth? You know what I'm talking about? Who else has seen this filth? You haven't even got email, Joan. Well, someone printed it out for me. Who printed this out for Joan? Well, I'm angry. And not because I'm in it, but because it degrades women, which I hate. And the culprit, whoever he is, is in this room. Or she, it could be a woman. Women are as filthy as men. Naming no names, I don't know any. But women are dirty. David, this is a meeting. Yeah, yeah. OK, that's all. Right, anything else? Um, oh, Teffy phoned from the warehouse. He's got another funny video for you. Thanks. Okay. This is just one big boys club, isn't Not it? Not really, no. Seedy just... little men with seedy little jokes. Jokes. This morning. Me. Perfect example. I do not want to be put in that position again. Don't go down the warehouse. David, don't tell me where I can and can't go in my own company. Advice. You're, You're on very thin ice as it is. You've already lied to me today. What's that? Can't you lied to me because you don't have the guts to do your own job. I don't have the guts. If you're not man enough to do your job, I will do it for you. Not man enough. Shh. OK. Come here. Busy at work? Is there a problem? Yeah, that. <laughs> so what's that? <laughs> what's that? I don't know, a dirty picture with my head on it. As a sex object. And don't... You know I like a laugh, Tim. I'm just... Porno laughs are not funny, OK? I'm disappointed. You think I did this? Case closed. Oh, I didn't I say that? As it was my investigation. And what annoys me is, you obviously didn't do it in your own time. Whoa, so... whoa, whoa. Columbo here figured it out, did it? Well, yeah, of course, she, sorry, yeah, I must be guilty if you got your best man on the case. Yeah, stop trying to be funny for one second, Tim, OK? And listen, OK? And stop taking advantage of my good nature, cos I could be like every other boss in this situation, OK? Right? You're taking the piss, and I'm getting sick of it. David, it wasn't me, OK? It was your good friend, Chris Finch. He used my computer. He said he was your best mate and you'd find it hilarious. Oh, uh, no, it is. Don't, oh, that's, uh, that's never in question. I think it's bloody hilarious. You're missing the... but. Are you, know. you going to apologise to Tim? I'll tell you about families. You don't have to, in a way. So... Are you going to apologise to Tim? I have, in a way. Are you I going to apologise to... now? Yes. Sorry about that. You were involved. You covered for it so well as well. You were involved and you covered. That's what I like. Well, I really it. wouldn't want to be here when you ball up, Finch. You won't be. It's not fair, nor will you. So, so it's not offensive now. It's Chris Finch. Let's not dwell on whether it is or isn't this or. Let's stop degrading women, <laughs> please. Let's have a laugh with them, not at them. Let's have a laugh at work with women. At us. So I trust anything. you'll be telling Chris Finch he won't be working with us anymore. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll get rid of a good rep because he didn't play the joke. Yeah. Brilliant. David, don't even no, no, start. No, no, fine. That's come from the top. Yeah, hi, Chris. It's David here. Yeah, bad news, mate. We're going to have to let you go. We can't use you anymore. No, yeah, because of the joke. No, I've got a sense of humour, but that, you know, that was offensive towards women. And, you know, to be honest, I can't tolerate it. I'm going to have to pass on. Sponsored by Accurist will be for 21 and 40 seconds. Pathetic. Is it? At the third stroke, the time sponsored by Accurist will be for 21 and 50 seconds. So 
So has anyone got the right time? Sat down. Okay. No, I've got one okay. over here. Ready? Ah, that's good. Pop it down. Good. Right. The interview. <laughs> See what we've got here. Mm. Karen Roper. Curriculum vitae. Mm. Just looking at this. Checking it out. See. Good. Tell me about yourself. Um, well, I, I did GCSEs and A-levels, and... Too um, boring. Yeah. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> OK, um, well, I'm quite into films and music. Yeah. Desiree? I don't really know. Oh, yeah. Just put that there. Last year, I took a year out, and I went travelling. Um, Exploring. Exploring yourself. And Asia. Just with your boyfriend, just. Don't just. No, I was on Good, by yourself, just out there. Free. Getting what you can. While you're young. I, I don't know when. You've charmed me. Yeah? You've got the job. Think of a decision. I'll make it. Good. Work out your notice with the place you're at now. And we put you on a month's probation, but don't, it's just to see if we... Okay. Yeah? Good. Good. Out tonight. Celebrating, I suppose. Um, yeah. Um, going to... Do you know the chasers? Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, if you see a three debauched drunkards in the corner, keep away from us. <sighs> no, come over. Come over. The drinks are beyond me. In me. What time are you going to cruise down there? Uh, it's not definite that we are... No, come down. Come down. Definitely. What's your tipple? Um, vodka and coke. Me, lager. Uh, Finchy, lager. Gareth, lager, sometimes cider. So, different drinks for different needs. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well done. Well done again. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Ah. New secretary. Good. Efficient. So have you resigned then? Yeah, I've just got to hand him a notice, make it official. Yeah. You embarrassed yourself and all, didn't you, uh, asking Dawn out? No, it, I didn't ask her out. That was... Why does everyone think... It was as a friend, right. OK? It was just right. as a friend. What did you watch on telly last night? I didn't watch telly, I watched the video. I watched that peak practice. Yeah, I've never seen it. Bloody repeat. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Not for me, I hadn't seen it. Boring, isn't it? Just staying in watching peak practice with your life? Mm, yeah. Not for me. I like it. Yeah, I just stayed in, had a big wink. Should be an option, isn't it? Oh, fine. I've got information somewhere else anyway. He won't read it. <laughs> <laughs> Despite having done it twice. I don't believe my um, paper device. Well. Mind the job. Okay. Sure. Brent, just rope it to me. I bloody love football, don't I? Oh, service barman. Lager, vodka and coke. Gave it a gig. Oh, God. The dreaded form. Does it sound there with you? Married or single? Shoot, she scores. That doesn't matter. Whatever. Bring your boyfriend down tonight if you want. I don't have a boyfriend. Whatever. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. Sorry. That is a man's game. That is. God. That is. Yeah. I can't see. Accidental. Let me look. Let me look. So. Oh, That's why geez. I shouldn't get involved, really. Oh, 
I know, all right. Yeah, I'll go. Uh, okay. Just was, I was, uh, yeah, I've got to go in a sec, so... No, he's, but I, I can eat here. Of course you can. We should go for that drink. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, me and Lee. Yeah, the three of us, mm. yeah. I can probably get someone to come along, so. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, in the next few weeks? Definitely. Yeah. Of course. All right, I'll just check with Lee. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, of course. Gareth! All right. Garedio. How are you, mate? Nothing. Good to see you. <clears throat> you weren't trying to get off with her, were you? Okay, welcome to Wernham Hog Health and Safety Training with Gareth Keenan. Okay, that's me. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. There are many hidden dangers in the workspace, and today we're going to find out what those dangers are together. All right, starting off with your workstation. Now, I want you to imagine that this is a mug of hot coffee. It's not, okay, because that would be dangerous even in the training situation. What we're going to do is play a little fun game that I've made up. All right, I like to have a bit of fun when I'm teaching people. In fact, I like to have a laugh most of the time, in and out of work. In fact, there's a few of us going out tonight. Shall we crack on? Good, keen. Excellent. All right. Now watch where I place this mug in order to simulate where someone might put a mug, you know, in real life. And what I want you to do is shout out and shout, mind, safe or dangerous. All right? Think you can manage that? Okay, let's go. Dangerous. I do not want to lose a good man. No. But, you know, it's out of my hands. And even if it were in my hands, my hands are tied. It's nothing personal, it's just based on facts. Yeah, yeah, well, why am I getting fired? You're not getting fired, it's redundancy, as I say. It's nothing personal, it's cutbacks being what they are. You know, you are one of the unlucky ones. Or one of the lucky ones, in my opinion. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you, David, why, when there are three other forklift operators, do you decide to fire me and not Anton? You know, is this, uh, is this positive discrimination? Is it, you know, do you have disability quotas you have to fill? I don't know what you mean. I mean... Well, are you keeping Anton on because he's disabled? Anton's not disabled. He's a midget, David. Yeah, but you're not disabled if you're a midget, are you? That's not a disability, that's just small. Yeah, yeah. no. Uh, Ronnie Corbett doesn't get special treatment, does he? Ronnie Corbett's five foot. Anton's three foot four. So are some children. Children don't get special favours. Children aren't disabled, are they? Well, children don't work in warehouses. Look, whether or not... Anton is indeed a midget or a dwarf. No, he's a midget. What's the difference? Well, a dwarf is someone who has disproportionately short arms and legs. Oh, I know the ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's caused by a hormone deficiency. Yeah, bloody hormones. Yeah. Mm. A midget is still a dwarf, but their arms and legs are in proportion. Sure. So, what's an elf? Do you want to answer that? An elf is a supernatural being. Sometimes they're invisible, they're like fairies. They don't actually exist, do they? In real life? What do you want me to... Do you think I enjoy doing this? This has been imposed upon me. This has been imposed upon me. This has been imposed upon me. Yeah, it has. 
Yeah. Would you want me to say, oh, I'm sorry, that'll give you a job yeah, back? Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, I want you to say you're sorry. Yeah. I want you to apologise and stop passing the buck. I'm not passing the buck. This is someone else's decision. I didn't want to do this. You know, go above my head if you don't believe oh, me. Oh, I will go above Fine, your head. good luck. It's yeah. your prerogative. Yeah, it is. But, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's my prerogative. Yeah. So, is a pixie the same thing as an elf? Hold on, Gareth. What? I just want to know how come he knows so much about midgets. called an education. So what's a goblin? How long are you going to be, mate? I'm moving on. You've been fired? <laughs> no. no. No, I've been made into a partner. They've made you into a partner? So it'll be Wernham, Hogg, Taylor, Clark. That's mental. I have to change all the stationery. Yeah, I think we might get a discount, though, as we're in the business. 40% sometimes. The point is, David, my job is now available and the board thought that either you or Neil should take over the role. I can tell you now, the board have voted five to two in favour of you taking the job. Vote for me, five two. There's only seven on the board, isn't yes. it? So it's five out of seven. Now I did That's a landslide. David. Go on. You've always made it very clear that you're 100% committed to your branch. Probably why I got the... You do understand that if you take on my job, Neil will stay in Swindon and your branch will be downsized and incorporated into his. Yep. Well, I know that you're very loyal to your family yeah, here. I'll be loyal to his I'll be loyal to all the whole family. It's one big family. Yeah, I'm just I'll sensitive be... to the fact that you have strong, let's say, emotional ties yeah. to your team. Well, yeah, but there is the emotion as good in business syndrome, I'm sure, notwithstanding the cruel to be kind scenario. I'm sorry, David, you've so, lost me. Well, you're not looking at that whole pie, Jenny. Word of hog is one big pie. And if they've let me in charge of that one big pie, I'll be in charge of the the pie and the people of the fruit. And I'm I don't have time the for the pie, pie thing, thing. David. You don't want it, no. I'm saying. Yeah, OK, I'll take the job, please. Good. Good. OK, well, the first step is to meet with Alan and the board. board. Yeah. What's five out of seven as a percentage? Uh, 70%. Mm, 71.4. So. Call Susan and arrange to meet yeah. the board and finalise all the details. Well, congratulations and good luck. Yeah, you don't need luck when you've got 71.4% of the population behind you. She's still here. Pardon. What do you think? Right. How did it go? Yeah. What's the news? What did she say? Fine. What's the damage? It's complicated. Are you going to tell us? Yeah. yeah. David. Bye. <laughs> We'd like to know now. OK. Right. OK, gather. Yeah, you are. Um, well, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is, Neil will be taking over both branches and some of you will lose your jobs. Yeah, yeah. Those of you who are kept on will have to relocate to Swindon if you want to so, yeah, stay. I know, I know. Gutting, gutting. You, you didn't see me. On a more positive note, the good news is I've been promoted. So, every cloud. You're still thinking about the bad news, aren't you? Yeah. There's no good news, David. It's only bad news and irrelevant news. Yeah, that's not a phrase, though, is it? I couldn't come out and go, oh, I've got some bad news and some irrelevant news. Yeah. You, you could say, have just told us about <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Kept your promotion to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, right. Should have told us the good news first, got there you happy. And no good news, David. Mm, I think promotion is genuinely considered good news. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to lose our jobs. jobs. <laughs> You're not all going to lose your jobs. God, just... Right, you're not going to lose your job. You're not going to lose your job. You know, you're not going to lose your job. So, let's get it in perspective, yeah?